Hi everyone! We are super excited. We have all the new releases for May to show you. Normally, I have my cute little boy helping me, but it's just her and I tonight. This is my handy helper, Karis. I'm Kay. the one who helps her at the trade shows. <laughs> yes, she is my muscle and uh, helper at all my trade shows. She's amazing. Anyways, we have all the new releases for, for May to show you, and I'm going to start with Garden Snap. So, do you want to explain how to play Snap? So pretty much, um, you deal out the cards equally, so everyone has the same amount, using up the whole deck, and then you take turns and you lay down a card face up. And then whenever there's like a pair, then the first one to put their hand down on the whole stack and say snap, then they get that pile. So if you run out of cards, then you're out, but if you get the whole deck, then you win. Also, you can use the cards to play... Um, go Fish, Old Maid, we play a lot of Memory Match, and sometimes we just make up our own fun games. So this one is Garden Step. There's dozens and dozens of Snap games to pick from. This is the new one, and I'll just show you some of the cards. So it's like a standard deck of cards. There's 13 sets of four, and these ones are just all garden themed. So they're super cute. My son is obsessed with Memory Match, so he was really excited to see these new garden themed cards. Yeah, these are really pretty. Huh? Yeah, they are really pretty. So these are just gonna be going right on our shelf right now. So yeah, those are the garden snap. The next book we're gonna show you is called Where the Biz Where's the Busy Bee? Is it in the tree? So then you have to look in the page and see if you can find the bee. And it's right <laughs> there, it's backwards in my mind okay so these are meant for babies obviously there's thin cardboard pages not babies but you know older babies <laughs> thin cardboard pages they're really really shiny and glossy you can see our, our reflection from our ring light that's giving us light behind us but so it's just like very simple questions and very bright and colorful so where's the spotted sail can you see a whale so just a very beginner search and find really you can ask the questions that are written on the page but you can also just make up your own new questions so this one super cute series we really like it mm -hmm. the next one is called 199 flowers <laughs> i did not expect a wrap out of that but yes 199 flowers my son um, is five and he seems to think that flowers are for girls and trees are for boys so i was thinking that when he seen this he was going to be super unimpressed, but he likes it, and he's like, can we keep this one? So I didn't think he was going to care much about flowers, but he was excited. So we like to play like a matching game, or like an, well not matching, but I spy. So when we go through any of these 199 books, I'll say, I spy lavender. Can you find it? And then he has to find it on the page. Can you find it? There it is. So um, it's just a great way to build your vocabulary. Again, there's lots in this series. This is just the new one. And then, da 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 da, Peep Inside the Forest. <laughs> Peep Inside is my most favorite Usborne series ever made. They are amazing. So they're like beginner information books for kids, but just filled with um, flaps, So which makes it so fun. So early in the morning, all is quiet in the forest. Then one by one, the birds begin to sing. So you can lift the flap and just start seeing all of the things in the forest come to life. It's really neat. <laughs> and I'm going to show you my favorite page. Let's see, where is it? Oh, there it is. As the days grow cold, some forest animals tuck themselves away to sleep all winter. Is anyone hiding here? Oh gosh, it's so cute. Is it a prickly ball? You're going to be blinded by the prettiness. <gasps> Oh my goodness. Hello, hedgehog. This makes me want a hedgehog. I'm not even kidding. I That is my favorite page. It's so cute. But um, yeah, we just love this series. It's so much fun finding what's behind all the flaps. We also have a fairy tale Peep Inside series. But So this is the new Peep Inside the Forest book. I think we got a new phonics reader. Measles with measles. Yeah. So, um, measles seem to be the thing right now going around. So, um, this is a cute little story all about these two little measles, two little measles, two little <laughs> weasels who are out painting and they ended up, they end up getting 
splashed with paint, with red paint. So they come home full of spots and their mom freaks out because she thinks that something is wrong with them and the doctor comes and he says they have the measles. So he treats them and the mom um, ends up giving them a little washcloth for their forehead to, to help them um, with their fever that they actually don't really have and then some of the paint comes off. So it's just a really, really super cute story. Lots of rhyming, so it's phonics, so you're you're learning how um, how to read, basically, and lots of rhyme. And the illustrations are just so much fun. So that is that one. Karis is very excited about these ones. This is a brand new series. Teacup House. Teacup House. So there's three of them. There's Meet the Twitches. Uh, wait, I'm pulling from the back. Oh, God, this is so confusing. Meet the Twitches, Twitches Bake a Cake, and the Twitches Meet a Puppy. Sorry, it's really hard to read. Backwards. It's hard to read backwards. <laughs> so, let's have a look in here. So, Meet the Twitches. Four tiny toy rabbits who live inside a teacup house. They belong to a girl called Stevie, and she loves playing with them. But guess what? These toy rabbits have a secret. They come alive when Stevie isn't looking. So Karis has been waiting and waiting for me to let her take these, but I keep needing to use them for different things, videos, pictures. I have to take them for my readathon. <laughs> but I will definitely let you read them. So meet the Twitches. Wait, can I read this one? The back? Uh, we won't bother reading the back one. The Twitches meet a puppy and then... The Twitches Bake a Cake. So super fun. The illustrations are cute. The stories look cute. I started reading the first few pages of the first book and I actually kind of want to read them with her because it sounds really interesting. Then we have book number eight in the Billy and the Mini Monster series. So this one's Monsters at the Seaside. Billy and his family are off to the seaside. The mini monsters are very excited to be going too. Soon they'll, they're building sandcastles and enjoying their picnic. It's all going so well until Trumpet is stolen by a seagull. How is Billy ever going to get him back? So these are kind of graphic novel -y in a way. Lots of um, speech bubbles and lots of illustrations. Perfect for a younger reader or somebody who doesn't really love to read. Um, it just keeps it super fun. So great series, hardcover, we love them. Then we have a new beginner book. So I, I don't know if this is a new beginner book or if it's a reissued book. I think maybe we have this book, but they changed the cover. I'm not really sure. It looks familiar to me anyway. Living in Space. So we love the beginner series. There is like, I think over 60 actually to pick from. My son's five and he just thinks that they're the best. He loves that there's so many facts in them. So he just loves to read anything that's a fact. And, of course, this one's all about space, which he finds super interesting. Yeah, I recognize this book. Do you? Yeah, that big rocket that you just showed. I was like, that. Well, there's a few that are in the series. So it's good. It has a table of contents. It has a little um, glossary at the back. So if there's words in there that you didn't understand, um, you can go see what they mean. And then there's um, internet links to different websites. And then... The Three Musketeers, the graphic, graphic novel. Oh, this is so hard because it's like backwards. <laughs> okay. So um, if you know our graphic novels, you might notice that it's not hardcover. They are changing the format of the, heart of the, the graphic novels just to make them a little bit more kid-friendly, I guess. Um, I'm not sure, but they've changed them. So they're not hardcover anymore, so they're a little bit cheaper, and they're just a little bit easier to, to hold, I guess. Same content. It looks the same on the inside. Graphic novel. Awesome. All about the three musketeers. I love graphic novels. And here is a new little puzzle cut. Little children's pencil and paper games. Do you want to read the back? Okay. This fun pack. Pad is packed with simple two-player games for young children to enjoy while developing their turn-ticking observation and logic skills. There are ten different games to play. So you can keep the paper in the book, 
or you can take them out and share them with lots of kids, whatever you want to do. They're just easy tear off sheets. So some of the games are O's and X's, Picture Perfect, Caterpillar, Shade, Yes, No, Build a Bug, Boxes, Hexagons, Target Practice, Super O's and X's, and Hop, Skip, and Jump. So those seem pretty fun. I'm kind of interested in this Yes, No, Build a Bug. That seems pretty interesting. Yes, No, Build a Bug. Go check that out. Looks fun. Then we have a new sticker book. It's a Doll's House sticker book. <gasps> I love this series. Yeah, this series is super fun. There's lots where like you're um, designing like um, department stores and museums and, I can go get and doll house. Yeah, that's okay. Well, you can if you want to. Um, this one's the garden center. So over 250 stickers. You can walk around this garden center, fill all sorts of plants and pots. You'll find garden tools, furniture and sculptures, and there's a cafe and play area to enjoy. So if you like gardening and you like flowers and you like sticker books, this is something I would do. Lots of people color to relax. I would much rather do a sticker book. So super fun. Let your creativity lead the way. <laughs> Curious with so many books you can't find anything. <laughs> then we have the Usborne Book of Planet Earth. Where in the world would you most like to go? You can join a stampede of wildebeest in the Serengeti, dive to the deepest, darkest parts of the ocean, climb soaring mountain peaks with yak herders in the Himalayas, or take a ride in a gondola along the canals of Venice. This book has it all. Takes you on a tour of some of the most spectacular places on our amazing this planet. This reminds me of Avatar. Of Avatar? We just went to Disney World, and there was a really cool ride called Avatar. It's like a simulator, but it, what she just read, it reminds that's what it reminds you of? Right. It kind of reminds me of soaring, too. Yeah. So this is the basically the table of contents. You're going to start right here. Your journey starts here, and then you can follow the red string, and this is the tells you where you're headed. So lots of really cool information. My kids are fat kids. They love to just learn different things, and what better thing to learn about than this amazing world that we live in. So super cool. All about planet Earth. I have one more book to show you. Oh, I love this one. It's and like one of my favorites. I'm pretty excited about it. Maybe a drum roll is required drum for this roll, one. Please. I am not very afraid of the dark. I am obsessed with this book. It has hundreds of tiny holes, and it's so hard to like show you how awesome through a video is. how awesome it is because it's kind of awkward to hold. But it has like a ton of tiny, tiny holes. So it's all about this little boy who um, is a little bit afraid of the dark. He's a little embarrassed to admit it, but he's a little bit afraid of the dark. And so it kind of follows through um, the story of like his house and how outside in the bright sun, everything seems okay. And but it's so you cool. You can see his, the shadow from That's a hole. His shadow is a hole. These are just beautiful. Um, but like it's part of a rock. when he goes in his yeah. house, there's different corners that kind of um, let shadows in that make things a little bit scary. So there's his shadow. So he's fine up until bedtime when like his mom turns out the light and then everything looks a little bit scary. So in the stillness of the dark, I start to notice things I didn't see before. Monstery shapes on the wall, a tap, tap, tap at the window, something creeping across the floor, quick switches on... Quick, switch on the light. So when you switch the light on, you're going to see that all of these little monstery things that look super scary in the dark. That are holes. <laughs> that are actually holes in the picture. Turn out to be just, you know, toys and stuff like that. So like right here, this is his bunny and his dinosaur. Down here, that's his robot. So everything, there's a reason why everything looks so scary. And so it's not so scary when you turn the light on it and it explains can um, I read the what back? everything is. Just one sec. So it follows through and he goes camping and he's a little bit nervous about going camping because of course uh, when you're camping in a tent everything gets dark. But he makes a really amazing discovery because at nighttime is when all the stars come out. So it's super cool. You can't really see but there's like all of these stars are holes. I just can't believe how beautifully illustrated and amazing this book is. So that's his 
kind of journey through learning that the dark isn't so scary after all. Karis wants to read you the back. When the sun goes down, the dark stretches out. It gets bigger and bigger until it covers everything. The dark can be scary, but it can, can be other things too. It all depends on how you see it. Awesome. So these are all of the new releases for May. There's so many. What's your favorite? I have a feeling I know which one she's going to pick. You need some help? This one? The puppy? Yep. We'll have to read this one. So there you go. I hope that you guys love them. Please. Oh, and the graphic novel. I like that one. You like and, and the garden sticker book. Oh my goodness. She likes them all. My kids, they're so lucky that we get all these books for free. Um, if you want to buy any, if you have any questions about any, um, just let me know. Comment below and tell me which one's your favorite. And if you are in my deals and discounts group, um, well, if you're not in there, or if you are, make sure you go check out my post because there's a special something for anybody who buys a book from me in May. So go check that out and have a great night. Have a great week. Have a great month. Just thank you for watching and we'll see you again soon. Bye. Bye.